Welcome to the F1 Pre-Action System Double Interlock Electric Pneumatic Release Startup Scenario. In this scenario, we're going through the steps of placing an F1 Double Interlock Pre-Action System equipped with an electric pneumatic release into service. Before we start, let's reset the panel to ensure the electric solenoid is closed. While this isn't required, we are going to silence the alarm panel. Press the silence button on the BFR 500 release control panel. Open the priming valve and allow the priming chamber pressure to build. Let's open the emergency release to establish flow through the priming chamber. This will remove any air trapped in the priming chamber. After removing air from the priming chamber, you can close the emergency release. We can now restore supervisory pressure to the sprinkler piping. To start reintroducing air to the sprinkler piping, open the air bypass valve on the air maintenance device. Once the sprinkler piping air pressure is within 5 psi of your target air pressure, Close the air bypass valve and open the ball valve below the air maintenance device to finish filling the piping system. Next, partially open the flow test valve. Verify water pressure has been established in the prime chamber. Then slightly open the water supply control valve. Open the auxiliary drain and verify that there is no water flow. Now, close the auxiliary drain. Once flow has been established, close the flow test valve. Now fully open the water supply control valve. Verify that all trim valves are in their normal operating position. After the system water pressure is restored, any alarm panels that were activated will need to be reset to clear any active alarms. Excellent, the system has been placed into service.